Question. DS. Is x greater than 1? Condition 1. 1 over x is smaller than 1. Condition 2. x is greater than 0. Solution. Let us solve this DS question using the variable approach. The inclusive relationship between a question and the conditions. If the range of the question includes the range of the condition, then the condition becomes the answer because the range of the condition is sufficient within the range of the question. Let us follow the first step of the variable approach by modifying and rechecking the original condition and the question. We are required to verify whether the range x is greater than 1 is true. Follow the second and the third steps. From the original condition, we have one variable, x. To match the number of variables with the number of equations, we need one equation. Since conditions 1 and 2 will provide one equation each, d would most likely be the answer. Recall three principles and choose d as the most likely answer. Let us take a look at each condition. Condition 1 tells us that 1 over x is smaller than 1. If we multiply both sides of this inequality by x squared, we get x squared times 1 over x is smaller than x squared times 1. Or x is smaller than x squared. Look, a square is important in this case too. Always think of squares when solving inequality questions. If we rearrange this, we get 0 is smaller than x squared minus x. That is, 0 is smaller than x times whole of x minus 1. x times whole of x minus 1 is greater than 0 means that the factors x and x minus 1 have the same sign. Thus, x is greater than 0 and x minus 1 is greater than 0. Or, x is smaller than 0 and x minus 1 is smaller than 0. That is, x is greater than 0 when x is greater than 1 or x is smaller than 0 and x is smaller than 1. x is greater than 0 when x is greater than 1 means that x is greater than 1 and x is smaller than 0 and x is smaller than 1 means that x is smaller than 0. Thus, Condition 1 gives x is smaller than 0 or 1 is smaller than x. The range x is greater than 1 that we are trying to find does not include the range x is smaller than 0 or 1 is smaller than x given in condition 1. If x is smaller than 0, then we get no as an answer to whether x is greater than 1. But if 1 is smaller than x, then we get yes as an answer to whether x is greater than 1. So, we have a no and a yes as answers to the question, is x greater than 1? Thus, the condition is not sufficient by CMT1, which states that the answer will be a unique yes or no. Condition 2 tells us that x is greater than 0. The range x is greater than 1 that we are trying to find does not include the range x is greater than 0 given in condition 2. If 0 is smaller than x which is smaller than 1, then we get no as an answer to whether x is greater than 1. But if 1 is smaller than x, then we get yes as an answer to whether x is greater than 1. So, we have a no and a yes as answers to the question is x greater than 1. Thus, the condition is not sufficient by CMT1, which states that the answer will be a unique yes or no. If both conditions are put together, we have x is smaller than 0 or 1 is smaller than x and x is greater than 0, which gives x is greater than 1. Thus, 
the range x is greater than 1 that we are trying to find includes the range x is greater than 1 that results from combining condition 1 and condition 2. Thus, both conditions together are sufficient. Let us look at the graph on the number line as shown below. Question. Is x greater than 1? Condition 1. X is smaller than 0 or X is greater than 1. This is not sufficient. Condition 2. X is greater than 0. This is not sufficient. Both 1 and 2 together. X is greater than 1. This is sufficient. Both conditions 1 and 2 together are sufficient. Thus, C is the correct answer. Answer C.